Hi, Jennifer, and there's me. Hi, we're in your face. Hi, we're live. Hi, hi, everybody. I hope you're tuning in. Anybody tuning in? I don't know. It would be no. nice. It would be nice. You never know what Facebook Live. We, we did say we'd be here around 3. Yeah, we're a little late. We're late. You know. It's at 3.30. It's now 3.30. 340. Okay. So it's, it's all good. Yeah. So, yeah, so we're here to talk about, here, you know what, I'm going to focus on, on you, Jennifer. Hold Are on. You? Okay. Just for now. Hi. So I'm going to be squinting. Look at, see, I told you, look at my hair. I'm losing my hair. Ah, there we go. There's your nice smile. Look at that. So, so Jennifer, we, we're doing this live video. Why? What do we have to announce? We have to announce that we have a retreat happening in the fall. In the fall. We love it. We love it. Yeah. Sun River, Oregon, same place. Sun River Resorts. Uh, they are gracious people who have asked us back. And so from October 26th to the 30th, 26th that's Thursday through, through Monday, okay. you have five days of not only yin and yang yoga, but you have a bit of digital detox. A cool. bit of prayer and meditation, a bit of um, chakra workshopping, and also you get some private sessions. If you're one of our retreatants, we're going to give you an opportunity to get a private with one or the other or both of us, and we can work on your practice, grow your practice, answer burning questions, all that fun stuff. So it really is an in-your-face, <laughs> up close and personal retreat. It, it is. It sounds like it. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to hear some of these burning questions that you may have. You have, you have a couple of weeks to, to think those up, yeah. uh, these burning questions. So the other thing I wanted to tell you guys is, um, which is why we really wanted to go live as soon as possible, is that if you sign up with a deposit by the end of next month, the end of August, you're going to get $200 off the whole retreat, which yeah. is huge because... You know, this is a luxury retreat, we're not going to lie. It's not, you know, it's not super cheap. It's not, you know, a weekend in Vegas. No. But it's, there, there are deals. If you go to our website, there are deals with different uh, type of accommodations. But if you can get $200 off the whole thing right off the top, then, you're, then it's so, so much... You're already ahead. You're already ahead. It's so much more worth your while to just put that deposit down now. We're going to be in peak foliage at the end of October, we're going to be have, having access to more activities that time of year outside of just the yoga. Of course, the yoga is the focus, but we're going to have horseback riding and kayaking and hiking. Can you imagine hiking in the yeah. Pacific Northwest at the end of October where it's not ridiculously hot, nice and cool, and just to see the leaves change and the beautiful grounds. Go to our website, offthebeatenpathretreats.com, and you will see photos of this stunning resort. We are so honored and fortunate to have access to this facility. And then, of course, plenty of space to do our yoga, to do our workshops, yes. and to uh, just not be looking at a screen, which hopefully is what you're doing right now, but not, but not for the retreat. Not for the retreat. Yeah. Definitely not for the retreat. I'm going to turn it back on, uh, over to Jennifer, and she's going to talk a little bit about some of the yoga Okay, hold on. There we go. Okay, we're back to you. So tell us about the yoga classes we're going to have. So, uh, Laura, who we both love the yin. Love the yin. Laura specifically requested to teach the yin because, you know, that, that's her huge deal. She that's spends, my jam. She spends all her time here teaching a lot of hot classes. So, you know, it, yeah, it's please. just nice to get something cool, something calm. I need a break. Something collected. She does. She needs a break. <laughs> to, you know, not talk as much, and Good. that's the beauty of yin, is that it's about going internal. That's right. So, you know, she allows you to do that. So she'll be handling the majority of those classes. I'll be handling the combo classes, mm -hmm. yin and yang classes. So you'll get a lot of what I do in some of my power classes, nice, you know, beautiful transitions and sequences, and fun postures to play around with that you've never played around with before. But then we're also going to insert that balance of yin practice in there, which is why it's called yin and yang. It's the yin and yang retreat. Yeah, well, that's what life is all about. It's all about balance, which is why, you know, another reason why we're making a component of this workshop is the, is the digital detox. Why, why, in your opinion, do you think it's important to detox from our digital devices, Jennifer? Uh, because we were not meant to spend our time in front of screens. That is not what? what our life is supposed to be about. No. Bad for the eyes. Shit. Um, ruins your perspective. It's amazing what happens when you actually step outside 
and stand in the grass barefoot for 15 minutes or look up at the sky. Um, I had an opportunity to do that last weekend. Went to the Huntington uh, Gardens for a concert and it was oh, wow. lovely. So I got to like sit down on a lawn chair and put my feet in grass and look at the night sky and listen to awesome music. It was amazingly refreshing. We are meant to be balanced human beings. We are meant to connect with nature. We're especially meant to connect with each other. But wait, Jennifer, what, what if I get bored? What if I'm bored? Oh, trust me. You, you, you shall not be bored. <laughs> you, you definitely will not be bored. Not only are there things that we keep you occupied with, the workshops, the yoga practice, but there are so many things to do at Sun River Resort. They, they are seriously our new golfer. Bring your clubs along with your yoga mat. They got golf courses. I love golfing. Oh, 63 hole golf course there. Shoot. That you can take Who's going to golf with me? Come on, guys. Who's going to golf with me? Somebody has to do it. That's so cool. Well, thanks for, for telling us all about that. That's, yeah, I mean, because think about it. If you, it the, if you allow yourself to be bored, first of all, I'm going to tell you a secret. Nothing bad's going to happen to you. You're not going to die. You know, there's a saying, die of boredom. And I don't think there's any medical evidence that anyone has officially died of boredom. Um, some people want you to believe that, but you, you don't have to always pull that little, little screen out of your pocket and start scrolling with your thumb, scroll, 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 scroll. We become, we become zombies. And they say, they, who's they? The researchers, psychologists, doctors, scientists who have been studying this now, now that, you know, this is the, this year is the 10th anniversary of the iPhone. We've had iPhones in our lives for 10 years now, smartphones, you know, shortly after the iPhone came, came the other devices too. And we've become so used to them that um, the, the, there's some people's behavior is literally starting to change. It doesn't seem like it's changing. It is actually changing. It's affecting our sleep. It's affecting our relationships. As you said, Jennifer, you pointed out a very good point about relationships and communicating with people. Um, and so now they're, they're doing actual research into this. It's all over the internet and it, all over the internet. So you have to look at a screen to see the research. But the point is, is that it's really having a negative toll on, on us as a society. That with all the, the wonderful benefits that smartphones and technology give us, there is a downside. So we have to know how to balance. We have to know how to do that yin and yang, how to have the time, you know, the time when you really truly need the device, use it. And the time when you don't need it, you can turn it off and put it away and you'll be okay, I promise. And we'll have time, we'll learn about meditation. If you've never meditated before, this is a great opportunity because our meditation workshops are going to be directed expressly for newbies, for people who have never meditated before. And you'll see it's not that hard and it's not that bad. Nothing bad is going to happen. You're not going to like think of some deep, dark memory that's going to flip you out. I mean, well, yeah, I don't know. You might, but it'll be fine. You'll be in Oregon. Who cares? So, yeah, so you'll be fine. And um, we'll do so the, the lectures. We're going to have a chakra balancing lecture. We're going to do, I'm going to do a, a journaling workshop with pen and paper. Okay, not with, shocking. shocking, not with like, see, I don't know if you've seen this, with a keyboard, wait, oh, here it is, I'm looking the wrong way. Yeah, see, pen and paper, you don't have to be typing with your thumbs to put your thoughts down, and you'll be amazed at what you'll come up with, um, especially in this, in this setting. Um, let's, let's talk a little bit about the, about the chakra, the chakra thing. What's a chakra? A chakra is an energy center along your spine. There are probably thousands of them within your body. Let me see. Obviously, because our bodies are. I don't energy. see it. Yeah, no, but... they're, they're not necessarily visible. Then it's about energy. You can't see energy, uh -huh. but you feel it, and it affects other things. Cool. And uh, so the chakras are that way. Energy centers that float along the spine. There are seven major ones that they talk about, from root all the way to crown. Cool. But um, they get out of whack. What you you know in this society. <laughs> That's understandable. Right. And so we need things, yoga postures, diet, peace and quiet, mm -hmm. yep. to allow them to come back into balance so that the flow of energy doesn't get stopped somewhere. You know, talk, let's talk about, for instance, the solar plexus chakra, which is the one just above your belly button. Mm -hmm. Literally, you've heard the expression... You know, it's like it was a hit to the solar plexus. You took the wind out of you. 
Mm-hmm. Punch in the gut. Yeah, punch in the gut, exactly. And that chakra dictates creativity and power and movement. And so if that chakra is blocked or clogged, you're feeling powerless, you're feeling hopeless, you're feeling like sludge. I've had days like that. Mm-hmm. That's generally an indication of an imbalance. There are postures, there are ways, there are things to do that allow that to flow again so that you can come back into your power, so that you can come back into feeling like, oh, I'm a creative person and I have something to contribute to the world. That's great. Well, that, I'm sure there are plenty of people who would, who would love that and then have the other supplemental activities to support that in addition to the chakra balancing, to have the meditation, the yoga, the actual yoga postures, and the journaling and the peace and quiet. I'm sure it's all going to work together it to create together. results. Yeah, yoga, the Sanskrit is union. Union. It's about yoking, uniting. Who is this person? We have a viewer. Viewer... You Make are. a comment. Don't be shy. Who are you? Who are you? Don't be a tell, stalker. Tell us how you doing. <laughs> tell, tell, us, tell us what you think about what we're saying. Yeah. What, do you think of, what do you think of these blocks over here? We're going to use these blocks for some yoga poses really soon. Um, so uh, here's the thing. If you tune in, going back to me, if you tune in to, our, uh, to this Facebook page where you're watching this live video right now, we're going to be posting over the next couple of weeks leading up to the retreat, we're going to be posting some videos that uh, will give you more information about the retreat, but also we're going to show you some of the yoga that we'll be doing. So you'll get a little taste, a little teaser, a little taste of, of um, some of the yin yoga, uh, some of the yin yang yoga, and I'm not going to tell you everything. You're going to have to tune in. Why give it away? Spoilers? Nope, not here. Yep, so we're going to have, um, at the retreat, we're going to have, I'm going to show you, um, that's a bag. We're going to have blocks and bolsters. I'm going to use, not these ones exactly, but ones very much like these. We're going to use them to, uh, to do our yoga poses. And take a look out this window. See this? Traffic. Buses, Hollywood, congestion. This is something you won't see at our retreat. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. Nope, 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 nope. Go to offthebeatenpathretreats.com and see That's what right. you will be delighted to uh, be a part of. That's right. You should definitely you check. join this retreat. If you join this retreat. And even if you're on the fence, if you're not sure, if you're like thinking about it, you're like, oh man, that's a, it's a lot of time. Or maybe it's a lot of money, or I'm scared. Yeah. Let me tell you this. It's an investment in yourself. You know, people spend a lot of money on things to try to feel better. We know this. People, um, you know, if you buy, okay, how, how much, Jennifer, yes. how, much, how much is a bottle of kombucha? I don't drink it, so you would know. <laughs> Um, it averages, the cheapest I found is like 250 or so. The most expensive is probably about 5 or $6. Okay, so let's say you drink one kombucha a day to feel better. I'm not going to say what my opinion of kombucha is because that's, <laughs> that's none of anyone's business. But let's just say you buy, you buy one a day. Or maybe, let's say you buy five a week. Can you do math in your head? How much is that? Uh, at like, at like, let's say the average $3 a bottle. Three times five. Fifteen. $15 a week, $60 a month. You do the math over the course of a year, okay? Some people buy two or three kombuchas a day. Um, or if you go to, um, to the spa uh, a couple of times a month, if you go, uh, you, you pay for your yoga membership or your fitness club membership, all these investments that we make, this retreat is like all those things, but it's going to be in a very concentrated, that's what retreat means, right? It's to get away. It's like to, to just shock your system. It's going to be five days of deprogramming, basically. Yeah. You don't have to do anything else. You don't have to work. You're not going to have to answer emails. You're not going to have to answer text messages. You're not going to have to get pissed off because somebody liked or didn't like your Facebook post because we're not going to be dealing with any of that. You're going to be completely detached from all of that so you can focus just on your healing and well-being. That you cannot put a price on, okay? Yes. You cannot put a price on that. So when you think about it, it's really worth it. 
So we're going to make sure that you have the best possible experience. The only thing you have to do is join us. Go to our website, put down your deposit, save your 200 bucks, and that'll pay for plenty of kombuchas between now and then, and what, or whatever else you want to spend it on, kale salad, smoothies, etc. And then, you know, you'll, uh, you'll be glad you did. All right, so we're going to sign off our live video now. Yes, thanks for, for joining us. us. It like. Thanks for joining us. And look, follow us on Twitter. And my arms are so short. Follow us yeah, on Twitter. And off the beaten path for treats on Twitter. Or is it OTBP? It's, it's actually OTBP because we can't have a long That's name. Right. Yeah. OTBP retreats or just uh, do a search on yin yang yoga retreats. And then follow us on Facebook. And then go to our website and look at the pictures and let us know what you think. Yeah. Okay. Look forward to seeing you there. We'll see you soon in a future video. Bye. Bye.